the little puppet god. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Recognize. Peekaboo! Ah! So you're the little tinker bot that my stupid counterpart has been hanging around with. <laughs> Little Pinocchio wishing that he wasn't a real boy now? <laughs> That's not funny! It is to me. Stay away from me! <laughs> Aw, what's the matter? <laughs> what's the matter? You're a little robot. So I can't even take a soul out of you. No. Please just go away. I don't want to deal with you, EXEs! Please! Oh, come on, Beck. What's wrong? Don't you want to give Mommy a hug? You're not my mom! You're just a parasite that was inside her head! Placed in there by, so <laughs> by Sonic EXE! <laughs> oh... Silly little puppets. You! It's you all along! You made her do all those inappropriate and simpy things to Sonic! <laughs> You're a monster! Well, it looks like that all the info about that has already leaked out. And you didn't even have to use that little brain of yours or your little program to figure it out. <laughs> Quite impressive. Don't think that you can get inside my head and mess with me. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I do know that there's actually a, a little thing that you and my counterpart have in common. <laughs> what are you talking about? You both weren't supposed to exist. What? That's a lie! <laughs> oh, come on, Beck. Think about it. She's only half of what Shedina is supposed to be. But no, she had to be a stubborn so-called ultimate life form. She's the weaker half. That isn't true. That wasn't supposed to be a No, way. you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. All she was I don't believe that. was just so that way she can actually be able to follow what she was made for. To make sure Sonoku and Shadoku are at least held in their place. It's disgusting! Oh, you don't believe me, Beck? <laughs> oh, there, there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Besides, I did hear about your little upgrades and how you became a better little robot. Yet there's her. And... <laughs> you pretty much see either... I can't tell if either you're way too attached to her or if she's attached to you, especially since 
When she had to move, you decided to move right across the street from her. Was that your decision or hers? It was my decision. <laughs> so... <laughs> You're the one who's attached to her. But... Don't worry, that's a flock that can be easily fixed. <laughs> uh... Uh, what are you gonna do to me? Probably make you better. Try to make you a lot less dependent on her. That way you can be your own little independent tinkerbot. Not if it means you helping me. I'd rather do that on my own. I don't need evil demonic versions of my family and friends to help me with that! <laughs> oh, now, now. I am just saying I could be able to help you, but... <laughs> I never said. I'm asking. <laughs> so... Eek. Let's... But, uh, do, you do have a choice. You can either come quietly, behave yourself, or I can just take you away by force and make you see the most harshest of truths about everyone you love and care for. No! No! I won't go with you. I'm not gonna be intimidated by you. Mm, such a shame. You are not. Another little boy. You are. Still thinking you are not gonna better. get in my. I am better. I've confronted my past. I'm better than I was before. I don't need you crawling inside my head and messing with my memories or my programming or anything. You're just trying to make me feel wrong. Forget it. You're not going to succeed. <laughs> Silly little puppet. Well, then I guess I'm going to have to do it the hard way. <laughs> I'm going to have to dismantle you, get that program of yours fixed, and then repair you. Into a killing machine. <laughs> See you try, you stupid faker! <laughs> <laughs> you honestly <laughs> think that's gonna hurt? I faced better. <laughs> you. AG's been training me. I can fight! Oh, that's stupid muse. <laughs> Oh... Then... I guess then if you're not gonna cooperate and if I can't get to you then... Let's see, maybe I could probably go after your precious little girlfriend. I can always uh, make sure... Well, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the Master did also get a chance to visit your mother again recently. <laughs> what? And... No! <laughs> Apparently, she's quite the stubborn one. A lot more stubborn than in the past. Let's see, um... Oh, yeah. Your precious little Snivy. I always wonder what it's no. like for a Pokemon to be an EXE. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere near my Snivy! No. You monster! <laughs> Well, somebody ought to get that brain of yours fixed. Ah! <laughs> ah! All right, you asked for it. I'll show you what the muse has been teaching me. That was a weak hit. Yeah. See you. Take this. I'm a girl, you idiot. 
You're not a girl. You're just a fake imposter. A demon. Oh, aren't you being a little sweetheart already? <laughs> Now, let's see here. <laughs> Let me go! Stop that! Let go! Let's see if I could be able to actually physically get into your head here. <sighs> no! Yeah! No! <laughs> Stay out of my head! <laughs> Stop it! What a pity, and here I was about to have a little fun torturing someone. But it's okay. I'll get to have a little bit more fun later with Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> oh, the master's calling me, so... I suggest you keep an eye out. And... Don't trust your precious mother. Boop! <laughs> Okay, so his location should be right around... Oh, there he is! The inferior being. Ow! Back? There you are! Oh, hi. Mom! Wait, hey. wait a minute. Hold oh. on. Wait, wait, wait. Are you really my mom? Uh, I am. Okay, what happened? Who screwed with your head? Uh, how do I know you're the real Shadina? Go ahead, do what you want. <coughs> okay, I believe you, you're my mom. Me. That's okay. There, there. Let me guess. EXE? Yes. Your EXE. Uh. What is going on? I was on? just out here. I was just out here taking a walk. All of a sudden, she showed up and started taunting me. Yeah, well, I heard a distress signal coming from here, and I got worried because it came from you. And as soon as I found you, I just got here as fast as I could. Uh, but... Looks like X and his compadres and minions and whatever are starting to really kick things up. Right. Yeah, but... But there, there. It's alright, don't worry. She's not gonna hurt you, I promise. I I'm so scared in my life. I get it. I know the feeling all too well, but it's all right. All right? Did she hurt you? Did she try to do any damage to you? to get inside mm. Well... Yeah, I do see that she attempted, but... Figuratively and literally, looks like you got a really nice good cranium right there, so... Pretty, pretty much, pretty much whatever happened managed to stop her before she could be able to get in. I think... Chaos. And, oh, hold on. Wait, she was gonna... Hold on, she messed with your nose, didn't she? Hang on. I'm gonna fix that. Up. Yes. Okay, let me give it a test run. Oh. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's working. That's good. But, yeah, let's get the heck oh. out of here, because... What's up? I need to ask you something. Go on. that 
weren't meant to exist. That question I thought I'd never hear for a long time. I was, I was told that even before I found out that I'm only one half of, well, who I am. But... However... Honestly, I stopped caring about that. Because, well, I'm my own person, and so is cool me. Sure, we still do have our ties, but... Still, we're both our, we're both our own girls, and... We both want to be able to actually live the lives that we want to be able to with. I oh. kind of know how that feels. Well, I'll tell you this, though, Beck. I do believe that you are meant to exist. All I can say is about that, Beck. It doesn't matter who your creator is. What matters is that you get to decide what you want to do with your life. So far, you're doing a good thing. You're doing great things. And even... Although that... Yeah, from what you had told me from your world of how they, how they treat you because of who created you... Still, you are always wel welcomed by others. And they are able to see past who your creator is. Why I came this war? Because hmm. I wanted to escape, get away from it, find a place where I belong. Mhm. Mm and plus, hey, you do belong. Why? You do belong here in this world. Because hey, you. you. Yep, you warm a lot of people's hearts. You were able to take care of little Snivy, <laughs> and plus, and plus, hey. You make you make a certain two-tailed fox really happy and blushy too. If you catch my gift. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then there's little Kit. Mm -hmm. Kit's been through trauma in his life, and he's like a little brother to me. Yeah, but see, yeah, he definitely deserves. A, he deserves at least a lot to try to be able to live a better life. Even I know Steve has been helping out with him too, and. And also, plus, even little Kit found out that he's been idolizing and hanging around a certain Sailor Scout. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know that you make a good big brother, anyways. <laughs> really glad I met you, Shady. Best adopted mom. And I'm glad I met you too, Beck. But anyways, get over here, mister. You need another hug. Especially after all you've been through tonight. But yeah, let's what? get you Oh yeah, let's get you on home. I think we got an I think we yeah. have enough time in this place anyways. Alright. Alright, ready? Ready. Alright. Chaos! Control! <laughs>